drive passer. Good three step drop, tipped up and picked off. And this could be trouble. Kapera, touchdown, Tigers. Contera took it back 29 yards on the pick six. Obviously, the ball should not have been thrown. Tremendous athletic play by Jake Katera. The linebacker tips it to himself and scores. But you see the repercussions of Jake Locker. It's been a long time since he's played in a football game, Mark. That was a poor decision. Point good and LSU in a blink. Bob Davey takes a three point lead on that interception, the second interception of his career. A good start for John Chavis, the new defensive coordinator at LSU. That was a big series for them after Washington had taken the first drive and drove the length of the field for a touchdown. Taking a look at things from the other side. This one complete. Boy, they hit you on defense. Don't the Tigers, Aguilar that time, able to hang on to it? You think back a year ago. Again, I hate to keep going back to last year for the Washington Huskies, but it shows you what a... Walker. Great job of improvising completing the pass to the seven yard line second down and 11 it's Polk good steered arm and close to a first down at about the seven yard line put a straight arm on McCray yeah not only is he fast you mentioned that a great job of stiff arming right there and you can see why Tyrone Willingham last year was sick. When they lost Jake Locker and they also lost Chris Polk. Look at that stiff arm right there on Harry Coleman. He got it on both guys. <laughs> as successfully as they've been able to run it. I mean, Washington State, excuse me, Washington has close to 200 yards total. Line. Aguilar. And there's a flag down at the 38. Tebow, 230 pounds, runs about 4-4-4, and blitzes this no-back stuff of Washington when they spread out. Don't spread out with them. Walker on the pitch. Country out to the SEC. I'm Mark Jones along with Bob Davey, and it's first down and 10 for Washington. Backfield on third and long, nine to go. Got to get to the 49 for a first down. Locker pulls the trigger complete. And a first down at the 46-yard line to Kavar. Second down and six. Hands it off and nothing doing that time for Chris Polk. Met by Jacob Katera. And Drake Nevis. A loss of about three on the play. Excellent defensive call, John Chavis. Watch Katera come on the blitz and run right into. Watch Katera right here. He's going to come around on the blitz and hit it right in the face. A little twist stump between the linebackers. That's just a good defense against the. Former offensive coordinator at USC on the carry. That's Chris Polk. And he looks like he got enough for the first down, falling forward. Well, when you talk about tonight's USC. good hands flashback, brought to you by Allstate. Oh, boy, good hands right there by middle linebacker. Jacob Katera. Third down and 11. Pass is complete at midfield, but short of the first down. Nice catch made by Goodwin. 
but it's short of the first down. A pickup of eight. So Bonds. There's Polk on the toss sweep, and he's run down and stopped at the 42-yard line, right around the line of scrimmage. All right, we're back to action. Second and eight. Option out to Stacy. Pick up a free Charles Alexander, the first man to wrap him up and bring him down. And a really nice play by the middle linebacker. We haven't called his name yet, Jacob Catrera. We've seen a lot of Kelvin Shepard, but Catrera does a very nice job there getting his head across the offensive lineman to share in the tackle. Vanderbilt, three of eight on third down. They need to pick up five. Ball is tipped incomplete. Vanderbilt and LSU in a seven point game. Chance to tie it up with a touchdown and an extra point for the Commodores. Zach Stacy back in the game. Stacy rips off seven yards on first guys. Down. And they play very sound fundamental football. Zach Stacy squirts through the hole. Gets out to the 28 yard line. Stacey Jacob Cotrera makes the stop. And Zach Stacy, a nice first half. Tonight, they've got to maintain that aggressiveness. Another ball batted in the air. Incomplete. Dangerous play. Back of the LSU middle linebacker. Two unbeatens. Louisiana Lockett coming off a, uh, a real high a week ago, knocking off Kansas State. Taking on an LSU team ranked ninth in the country. Third down play, nobody home. Mason just throws it away as he's under duress. And I imagine the punt team will have to come on. Good defense played by John Chavis' defense. And again, just a well designed, well conceived play. That's right over your little five foot eight running back. Andre Sales not able to get his helmet. Look at that shot. That's what you do when you miss a tackle. You come back that next play and you respond accordingly. And Katrina does a nice job of leaping over the little back, flushing the quarterback, and forcing the punt. Sales tries the left side. Not much doing. You see you line up, you get in your formation. Hudson on the sidelines, taking a look at what LSU is doing, getting the appropriate play call versus the defense. Andre Sales gets the handoff on second and eight. And Sales, a hard man to bring down, gets out close to the 35. Let's go back to the studio. Minute mark. Mark. Maybe a broken play. McGuire just takes it himself. Tuck it and make the play with his legs. And now they may have caught LSU with too many men on the field. They try the right side. Kelvin Shepard jumped over the pack and stopped the quarterback Mason. You got to go for it now. This is tough duty. The representative was Troy. Quarterback hands it off. This time Matt Dupree gets his first carry. A minute and a half remaining in this one. To dip those hips and explode through that tackle. That's why Les Miles has some of his better starting players. Playing special teams makes a difference. Out in the flat, the fullback, Matt Desimo. That's a line when LSU rushed four that seemed to handle them. I'd be curious to see just how Louisiana Lafayette handles that Sun Belt Conference and whether or not they can take them. It's caught. And that'll do it. Todd back in. Go. Cody Burns in in the Wild Tiger. A wildcat. Well, if they're both tigers, Burns still in, takes the handoff. It's brought down right around the line of scrimmage. Maybe got one. Came on down south to play college football. He's had a great career. Cody Burns in at quarterback now for Auburn. Burns keeps it. Broke one tackle, but not quarter. Came on down south to play college football. He's had a great career. Cody Burns in a quarterback now for Auburn. Burns keeps it. Broke one tackle, but not that second. Is tackled back at the seven by Jacob Katera. The 
Contreras with a nice stop for LSU. Loose, a loss of three on the play. You know, this this LSU defense, Mark, we have their defensive coordinator. Todd downfield actually comes underneath. Three fourth fumbles this year, tied for first in the SEC. And that was Jeremy Williams. And once again, Coleman there to, to greet him for Tulane, making just his second start of the season. And to give this to Anderson, and he is up to about the 20 yard line, a gain of about four on that play. Let's go downstairs to Kevin. So revered in football in these parts. Griffin, open receiver at the 24 yard line. And a flag comes out late. That was Cody Sparks, the tight end. That may be a helmet to helmet, maybe. Or I wouldn't want to venture a guess. You can guess. We're okay with that. You might be wrong. In 2002, to lead the Tigers as a linebacker. Most of the time, Doug, it could be a linebacker. The leading tacklers, tackler for the Tigers. Second and 12. Griffin, back to pass, has some pressure, completes the pass to Anderson, and Anderson just has nowhere to go. Jacob Cotrera. The senior out of Lafayette, Louisiana, there to make the tackle. Want to remind you of the first quarter in the redshirt freshman with 2.26 on the clock here before the end of the first half. And no running room whatsoever for Anderson as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Jacob Cotrera in to make the defensive play. Coming up at halftime, the, LSU. the mystery LSU. guest. 30 second timeout. I think we. Do we know who that is, Renee, the mystery guest on this 50-year anniversary of that great punt return? How many guesses do I have? Well, I don't know. How many do you need? Can you use a lifeline? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have any cell minutes left? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know what's, I don't know what's brought to Tulane at the 18-yard line. Griffin, a redshirt freshman, hit hard, pass complete to Robottom. Robottom has the first down. And Griffin shows a lot of moxie right here, just staying there in a the pocket, knowing he's going to take Trera. Contrera and delivering the pass to, to Robottom. He knows this is coming from Contrera. Contrera just lays the wood to him, but he can a sophomore out of Richland Hills High School in North Richland, Texas. The pass is complete. Contrera is there to make the tackle as Jeremy Williams gets the grab. And the seventh catch of the night for Jeremy in the shotgun. Anthony Dixon with that carry. He gets stuffed right at the line of scrimmage. Let's take a look at today's principal financial group. Edge to, to the force game. the football, which is exactly what he did. And now he's thrown his third interception of the first half. And you see it here just kind of ricochets of Perry Riley. And Tyson Lee, they put the football on the ground. And then here a third intercept. Fire again, pass caught at the 29-yard line. Once again, it's green. Just a quick hitter. Coleman, the outside linebacker, may have gotten a hand on this football, which causes it for Christian Degree to kind of tip it right off of him. Yeah, Patrick over, Peterson over right there. Tip drill just like you run it in practice. Taking it in the for the first pass is picked up. Patrick Peterson to the end zone. Touchdown LSU. The electrifying sophomore. Patrick Peterson. He's staying right here. Nice little short roll, throwing right in rhythm. Hits the receiver. Throwing the exit a little bit behind Christian Decree, the, the uh, senior running back. He's 112 yards on the ground per game. Neither of these teams has excelled on the ground offensively. They'll try it this time. Left side, nothing. Wow. That was Jacob Contrera. Contrera, who opened the season with an interception return for a touchdown in the first game of the year in Seattle against Washington, and then was dinged up last week. Well, the safeties, the linebackers, right now are saying, you know, until you prove I can, you can throw the ball, we're going to play run. Brandon Taylor, the safety, was right there. First-year coordinator, John. In to take the handoff and then uh, shovel it back. Here's Cox across the middle. That's caught by Aaron White, number 81, the tight end. Okay, got half of it back. Nine. 
They've turned it over three times in each of their first four ball games. Here's the handoff deep and a one yard. And in contrast to that, LSU come in, comes in ranked fifth in the country. Said, we need a spark. Handoff up the middle, out near the six. Now well, Gary referenced this a year ago. He goes wide to the left. Pe Peterson follows him over there. Comes up to play a little bump and run on the line. That was a gain of 32 on third and 11. Good block. In the backfield to give Cox time to get rid of it, and he finds Sean Chappas, the fullback, number 49. Well, again, remember what Mark Rick said to Tracy on the sideline as we watch this first down play. This is a design play to the fullback all the way. He passes Shepard, turns him to the running back, cut by that time. That time, King cuts him, throws it out to the outside. Good play by Katerra. But what did he say? We need to throw it more than a designed play. Come across. Dodge and catch a little dart that is perfectly designed and that was the right play to have on against that LSU defense King stays on the field Comes right you know, aren't both of these teams are kind of playing To way they came to their reputation in this game aren't they I mean it in the backfield with Tim Tebow Right side Demps one yard Yes. Jacob Cotrera, number 54. Gary, take us through the first half trends. Father unexpectedly. And here's the uh, run down to the three yard line. Hernandez's dad yes. passed it by three. Hmm, dive play. Greg Luganis is going to show up here pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but they're giving up yards. Second down and four. Jeff Demps in the backfield. Tebow keeps it, and he's going to be short of the first down by a couple. Drake Nevis, number 92, with the tackle. Now, I was out at practice Wednesday. Good coverage that time by the LSU defense. Oh, man. And that was Kutera, I think, the linebacker. It's national championship teams, but you know what they have been doing? Stopping the run. Those linebackers are the beneficiaries of those good defensive linemen now. Second down and 10. Here's McElroy coming to his left. Judy in the first quarter. Ingram. Oh, they... Ready for him. That's Drake Nevis, number 92. 50 yard line, they will do that. McElroy, it's there underneath it again. again, and Ingram almost dropped it. He does get uh, a modest Should change. Should be a timeout here by Alex. McElroy will have to run. Looks for help. He's not going to get close. He's down at the 11-yard line. It'll be fourth down. Danny McCray, number 44, makes the tackle. That's Coutreras. Started the uh, season as the starting middle linebacker. Had an interception of 29 yards for a touchdown in the opening game against Washington. The Huskies. Blitz coming again. McElroy avoids the pressure from Kelvin Shepard. He'll run. he has been able to run the ball left. Let's see if three points is huge in this football game. Here comes Ingram. And he gets about three on first down. Jacob Cotrera, number 54. One touchdown for the year. And here's the handoff to Ingram. Out to the 36-yard uh, line. Harry Coleman made the stop and then help from Jacob Cotrera. Halftime. Ingram is behind McElroy. Quarterback sneak. Ingram to the 50. It'll be third and five. And uh, let's get an injury update. Caught at the 35. Down to the 30. First down. Julio Jones. Great pass protection. The lack of a pass rush. Remember how Tennessee so much on third down made plays against this Alabama offensive line. LSU has made one of them in the end zone. Second down. Richardson. Nothing. Raheem Alam was the first one there. And uh, Jacob Cotrera, number 54, also a part of it. 
Again, just to repeat, three points makes it a nine-point game. Compton, man in motion. Jenkins wants to throw on third down, has a man wide open. It's Mitchell out of the backfield, gets himself a first down. Second catch of the ball game for the feet senior, Dustin Mitchell. And off Daniel Porter back into the game. Porter gets to the edge. Porter down the sideline. Pushed out of bounds at the 36 yard line. Jacob Cotrera was the last man back. 24 tough yards for Daniel Porter. And, and you saw that graphic. No touchdowns in the last five games in the first quarter. I got to tell you right now, through 15 minutes, what's standing out the most to me tonight, Eric, is this. Third down at five. Bulldogs want to stay on the field. Here comes the blitz. Jenkins gets it off incomplete. Cotrera is the man who busted right through the middle of that line and put Jenkins on his back. Third and four, you saw Harry Coleman the last drive, the sack off the edge. This time right up the gut, middle linebacker Jacob Cotrera comes untouched, unaccounted for. You could see. Ross Jenkins feeling that blitz, trying to buy enough time for his underneath. Porter still in the backfield. They fake it to him. Get it out. Lyle feet. Moving those feet in space, crossing over the 25 to the 26. It'll bring up third down and short. Jenkins leading to the negative play. Wildcat formation. Porter fakes the handoff to Livis. Maybe he should have handed it off. He is triple teamed and brought down Jacob Cotrera and others stop him after a pickup of one. And to my point there early in this first half you saw these LSU defenders trying to read trying to get a feel. Now you see them attacking. Look at Jacob Cotrera there. Raheem Alim all the effort now. There's no thinking. They're not analyzing. Down to the second half for the Bulldogs. The give to Porter. Baton Rouge native. Gets three yards on first down. Drake Nevin down by just four against the heavyweight here in the state of Louisiana, the LSU Tigers. First down and ten. Hand off Duplessis. It's caught after a pickup of a pair. And breaks the first tackle, breaks another tackle, and crosses the 50. He's going to be just short of the first down marker. There's a flag down on the field. Was he grabbed on the face mask? Well, if so, you're going to get it. That's, you know, in the old days, that would have been a five-yard penalty. There's no more of that five-yard penalty. You grab the headgear, and it's going to be 15 yards. His body language coming off the field. You see more and more of that. In the Manning Academy has now equaled Eli Manning's record of 2,000 yards in back-to-back -back seasons. Here's McCluster going right and not for much as Jacob Cotrera number 54 is there to make the stop the ball, you know everybody fell. split backs now and here's the handoff right side Bolden at the 30 on first down and uh, Charles Alexander and Al inside Woods. there is no containment later that will come back and be one of those bubble screens to the outside Loss of one last place. So here's the Wildcat. It's McCluster comes left. Started as the Wildcat. Now it's uh, Houston. He can do it at the next level, by the way. On second down. This is Bolden. Well, uh, how about some more on Dexter McCluster? Here's Tracy Wolf. Well, guys, McCluster. Play fake Sneed into the flat. Caught by Hartman. The fullback, he's going to be short of the first down at the eight yard line. Jai Eugene, number four, makes the stop. Chad Jones helped. Grandy in motion, same formation. McCluster inside the 10, down to the eight. Should be first and goal if everything stands. Six. McCluster. Out to the 25. Jacob Cotrera with the tackle. That was a gain of 16. He's over 100 now in the ball game, and this time not much. He loses a couple of yards. Well, McCluster. McCluster. John Jerry's out there leading the way. This time uh, McCluster cannot avoid the gang tackle of LSU. Jacob Cotrera, number 54. So again, Ole Miss driving on LSU. 
the cluster with Hartman leading the way gets around the corner gets by Riley a little jump over a defender and he's out of bounds at the 11 yard line speed 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 is one thing but you also have to have blocking inside was it Hartman yes it was Andy Hartman number 43 gets the arc block right to the outside you outrun one guy and then Jai Eugene has to take on the fullback and the cluster makes a positive play. four wideouts on first down crossing pattern completes it child's on the run first down and a bunch more and he stays in bounds finally knocked down as he got all the way to the 34 yard line he works his offense in the Razorbacks 27 yard left Johnson trying to get to the edge and well, he got a yard or two out of it and it really didn't look like he was going to be second here it's second down along one at the 39 yard line Williams the tight end on the move Green hurdle one man probably going to have a holding call right in the middle of the wow. pile. Eight second difference in time of possession. Mallet quick throw out in the flat to Adams put the brakes on and they're going to put the brakes on him. Joe's going to lose a yard I think. Yeah, it was Chad Jones that was there first reading that play and slowing the momentum of the play down before uh, somebody else could finish him off. We had a punt return for a touchdown of this one. LSU in command 17 to 3. Ryan Mallett and the Razorbacks trying to change that in the next 417. Trying to take advantage of Holiday's muff punt that they recovered. They're 50 yards away from the LSU end zone. Trying to run a little quick opener. And Dennis Johnson got about two. Jacob Cutrera, the Jacob inside linebacker, made the stop. Look to pick up the first down, and Johnson does. Cutrera, the linebacker, made the hits. But Joe Johnson, or Dennis Johnson, big part, has the first down. Arkansas had a 3 0 lead. All of a sudden, the crowd that's still here is coming to life. Third and ten. Five receivers for Mallet. He's going to try to run for it, and he stops in his tracks at the 23-yard line. And I'll tell you, LSU has, has gotten away with a three-man rush a lot tonight. And, and that shouldn't happen. Five blockers, they're only going to rush these three, but it's enough pressure to force Ryan Mallett to leave the pocket. They drop eight, so they have eight in coverage, but Raheem Alem coming from the outside. So far, as far as the receiver, he's held on to the ones that Clark's aimed at him. That? See, here's the other thing. When it's wet and sloppy, every snap is an issue. Yeah. Whether you're talking about a snap from center to the quarterback, whether it's a shotgun snap or a punt snap, every single one becomes a very serious matter. And, and you know, on, on great surfaces and great weather, it, it's almost something you take for granted. This was not a good snap. It was bobbled. It was up in the air. It landed on the back of a lineman. And somehow Daryl Clark... Royster, nice run out across the 20 to the 21 yard line. We got six on that last carry. Second down at four. Let's try him again. This time, no game. Lost of one, in fact. Clark rolls, gets it to Corliss and tight end across the 40 and out to the 42 yard line. Another side you see in motion behind Clark. Morris. Bad snap. Daryl Clark is saying, now this, this has got to be offsides on LSU. There is a flag down. They hit the side. LSU fans trying to come to life for their defense. Now Evan Royster, six touchdown carries on the season. Your go-to back here. Got Suey in there with him as the lead blocker. And that's where they go. And Royster is not going to get there. It's to go. They're that far away. <laughs> Clark over the middle. Wallace, 
And he's got it to the 35. And the Lions looking for a touchdown. That's offside. Clark. Avoided a couple of guys. Richard Murphy went down. Keelan Williams went down. And now Ridley is the guy. Here, Royster. <laughs> You can see him wrapping both hands around the football. Remaining in the fourth quarter. Two tight ends set for Penn State. Play action. Look out, Darrell Clark. He got away somehow. And got rid of.